with your first alert weather on CBS2. CBS Mornings. I'm Gail King. Coming up at this hour, new revelations about what happened on January 6th from a former investigator for the House Select Committee. Denver Riggleman will be live in studio. I'm Tony DeCopel. Today's Kindness 101 is about three students who would not give up. No way. Steve Harbin and his kids share a story of perseverance. I'm Nate Burleson. A supermodel Iman is here to talk about her new docuseries on black models. The word icon gets thrown around a lot, but she is just that. She is exactly that with a capital I. But first, here's today's eye opener at 8. Another powerful storm barrels towards the U.S. A lot of people on the Florida Peninsula need to be ready to take action quickly. A former advisor to the January 6th committee says someone inside the White House was in contact with a rioter during the Capitol siege. I only know one end of that call. I don't know the White House end. Italy appears set to have its first female prime minister, who will be part of its most right-wing government since World War II. NASA plans to ram a spacecraft into an asteroid in a test of our planetary defenses. How vulnerable is the Earth? To a large object, there's you know, currently nothing uh, uh, to stop it. Tragedy strikes. That, that is, that is an American tragedy. I can still eat it. And cameras were rolling when a boy dropped his ice cream at a baseball game, and Dad seemed to think it was okay. It's not that bad. Oh no, it really isn't. Hey, wait, now Dad's gonna wipe it off. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, it was what? What will you figure? Three and a half seconds. That's all it was. There we're you go. going back. It's a little smaller, but you got a shot at it now, son. I think it's fine. 100% agree. It's Me not broken. Too. First of all, it's a long walk to concessions. <laughs> yeah. And that ice cream probably costs $22. Yeah, I was going to say, plus tax. Better yeah. dust that off. Five yeah. second rule, For son. Sure. And I do believe in the five second rule, too. We approve. <laughs> yes, we, approve. we do. Go all right. dad. We want to get to a major interview <laughs> off the top here at our 8 o'clock hour. Major <laughs> revelations from a former advisor to the January 6th investigation uh, regarding the Trump White House and what was going on inside there. Former Republican Congressman Denver Riggleman served on the January 6th committee as a technical advisor for eight months until he left in April of this year. He is also a former military intelligence officer and a consultant for the NSA. And he lays all this out in a new book. It's called The Breach, the untold story of the investigation into January 6th. It's an inside account of his time working with the committee. It was his job to analyze the digital records from that day, including White House phone calls. In an interview with Bill Whitaker last night for 60 Minutes, Riggleman claims that the White House switchboard connected to a rioter's phone during the riots on January 6th. Take a listen. Did it hit you at one point that this is way bigger than it appeared in the beginning? Absolutely. Do you get a real aha moment 